hogs on the mile planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body old school for low. Purple rim, seven seven cutty, black. All right, all right. What good Ravens fam? So Lamar Jackson's presser just ended um, not too long ago. I liked it. Like in the chat, the chat was pretty much cool. You know, y'all got some you know ignorant people in there, but. A lot of uh, chill in there, and the presser, it was good. It was good. Um, knew they was going to ask some stupid questions about Lamar Twitter um, that he, you know, tweeted out. What did the SpongeBob emoji, I mean, Jeff uh, meant. I'm like, bro, he was smiling. Like, I don't understand how you not understand SpongeBob smiling. Like, you knew something was good was going on. And he replied that to Josina Anderson showing a contract and all that stuff. So anyway, but that was good. Also that the, um, you know, he, he loved the fact that Harbs and Eric DaCosta believed in him. You know, business is business. He knew not to take anything personal. A lot of people were saying, man, you're going to take a lot of things personal. And he did not take a lot of things personal. He himself said, football is on this side. You're speaking to a grown man. Eric DaCosta understood that. Harbs understood that. And that's what I liked. And that's what I liked. He, he said he really loves his teammates. He didn't care what the other teams out there he didn't care pretty much like a lot of people been saying a lot of youtube content creators as myself has been saying that tweet that he sent out saying he requested to be traded that was nothing but the same tactics but different way of what ray lewis did to ozzy newton you, you knew we knew ray didn't want to go nowhere lamar didn't want to go nowhere he said continually throughout the presser that he loves this fan base. He knows there's some special people out there. Like, shout out to my fam Nitro. He shows a little gif. I said little gif, a little picture and everything. Lamar signing and the and the purple patrol. How they was feeling that Lamar signing the contract. And I seen a lot of people was upset with him by calling him out. And them same Purple Patrol members playing like they did not say they wanted Lamar gone. Like, be true to yourself. So, shout out to the fam for doing that. But Lamar said he loves his fans. He loves the Ravens flock. He loves his teammates. Like, man... Then they asked him how do that um the knee injury. A lot of a lot of people he should have played. And they never had a knee injury themselves. They never played on the type of level he's playing at. But I digress. He just said it probably healed about a month ago. They asked him about that PCL injury. He said it healed probably a month ago. How long the football season has been over? PCLs, ACLs, those are very serious. And the thing about it, they asked him also that it, how he felt about Odell Beckham. Did he recruit him? And he put that to bed. I mean, he's like, you know, Odell hit me up. Yeah, I seen uh, Odell Beckham was, you know, recovered from his injury and stuff like that. And, you know, he reached out to me. I'm like, and you think about coming to us, you know, like, because I'm still part of the Ravens. Like, I wasn't saying, like, no, nah, I don't want to go there. Like, that's not my team. You know, it was, I'm, like, I was hyped about it. You know, I got Rashard, I got Duve, I got Mark, Likely. I got all these guys. And then a new addition like him, like, you know, with his re um, resume, is like, yeah, we can, you know, we can prove our receiver room and we can go somewhere. So I was definitely, like, hyped about that. Why we saw that, you know, you're getting love. Odell, that shows when people say, oh, they don't want to play. Wide receivers don't want to go to Baltimore and play with Lamar. Odell Beckham hit him up. He said it. Odell Beckham hit me up. 
And he was like, you want to play with us? Because he's still on the team. He said it himself. He's still on the team. So, Odell Beckham really wanted to make sure Lamar was not leaving before he signed with the Ravens. Then he gave a shout out to his, his moms. <laughs> uh, yeah, she's a huge influence on my life just by, you know, her just raising four of us, you know, my, my younger brother, my two sisters, I'm the oldest, me being the oldest and just see how she grind and work without complaining, um, not wanting me to get a job, you know, telling me to focus on football and she gonna take care of everything else. Um, just seeing that and was like, you know, if she can do that, I can do anything. You know, she raising four kids on her own, not asking for a handout, not reaching out to people like she, oh, I need this right here to pay my bills. I never heard her complain about anything like that. I just seen her go go to work, wake up early in the morning, go to work, come back late at night from working, or I'm dropping her off to work, stuff like that. It was like, man, this woman's a superhero, like to me, you know, that was part of the influence right there. And what was your other question? What was your other question? Just what it means to your mother and, and your family to, to be rewarded in this way. And again, the Mother's Day plan. <laughs> <laughs> it means a lot to um, my family and myself, you know, um, just from, you know, being, being in a place where we wasn't before, you know, just, you know, another step, uh, another stepping stone, if anything, um, for Mother's Day. I don't know. I think I, I, I got a gift already. I think she's satisfied right now. I'd probably just go call her. Give her some flowers or something. Give her some flowers. <laughs> Women love flowers. They do. You can't go wrong with flowers. I like that, man. He broke it down. He broke it down. That was like, Because mama's boy. I'm, I'm a mama's boy myself. Represent the mama's boys. That's viewing this. Represent. But... He just represented that show that she was a strong woman. She was a strong woman. She held it down. And she's still holding it down to this day. He said, that's my manager. That is not my agent. He is his manager, not his agent. But overall, I really loved it. I'm not going to fill this video up with a lot of snapshots from the, I mean, a lot of small videos from from the um from the presser but the what he said about his mom that was just man that was just you know people know people know you know what I'm saying but I loved it um he said he's going to be going to he's going to be there soon with the OTAs he can't wait to work with his receivers and his tight ends. He said he want to throw 6,000 yards. And I believe he can do it. Oh, man. Um, I'm very eager. I'm very eager to live on, to be honest with you. you know, I, I, told, I think I told someone, like, man, I want to throw for, like, 6,000 yards with the weapons we have. <laughs> like, you know, and I'm, I'm not an individual award type of guy or stat watcher, you know, I just want to do that, you know, because no one ever done it, and I feel like we have the weapons to do it. You know, we got explosive guys. Um, and like Coach said, Nelson, you know, the new addition, um, Zay, OBJ, and we got Bateman going to be 100% healthy, dude, going to be healthy, you know. So it's going to – can't forget about Mark. I can't forget about my boy Mark. <laughs> and, you know, likely, so it's – just can't wait to get rolling. With the type of weapons he has right now, maybe more some in the future. You never know. But he's going to hit that 6,000. I got him going for MVP this season. You paid. You got a chip on your shoulder. You got wide receivers. He said he loving the offensive coordinator. He spoke with him. He got his iPad not too long ago. He already seen some of the plays. He's loving it. He's going to spread them boys out. He's going to spread them boys out. But, man, it was just, it was just sweet. It was just sweet. I loved every minute of it. I loved every minute of it. So, what did y'all think about the, um, the presser? What did y'all think? Let me know what y'all think about it. And also, before I end this video, just shout out to all, like I said, to all the mamas. Mother's Day is coming, y'all. So shout out to all the moms in the world holding it down. 
for their children and just being a great example and being strong for their children. Because we, we know Lamar's situation, what happened to his father, but RIP. But yeah, just, just continue to keep that in y'all's mind that you never know for the parents, you never know your kid is always watching. I have to continue to remind that to myself. My princess just came in here just a few minutes ago while I'm making this video. But they're always watching, they're always listening. So if you have any questions and you want um, me to answer them, put, put them in the uh, comments. I will put them on my new series. I am starting question from comments. So if you have any questions, just put them in the comments and I will answer those questions on a video. So hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the share. Everybody stay safe. And you already know, God bless.